Hi there. Welcome to the Proverbs series. We've been reading the book of Proverbs, two or three chapters per episode. Today, we continue with Proverbs chapters 16 and 17. Check out the previous episodes. I will be reading from the World English Bible, but feel free to follow along in whatever Bible version you prefer. The World English Bible sometimes refers to God as Yahweh. Proverbs chapter 16. The plans of the heart belong to man, but the answer of the tongue is from Yahweh. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but Yahweh weighs the motives. Commit your deeds to Yahweh, and your plans shall succeed. Yahweh has made everything for its own end. Yes, even the wicked for the day of evil. Everyone who is proud in heart is an abomination to Yahweh. They shall certainly not be unpunished. By mercy and truth, iniquity is atoned for. By the fear of Yahweh, men depart from evil. When a man's ways please Yahweh, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues with injustice. A man's heart plans his course, but Yahweh directs his steps. Inspired judgments are on the lips of the king. He shall not betray his mouth. Honest balances and scales are Yahweh's. All the weights in the bag are his work. It is an abomination for kings to do wrong, for the throne is established by righteousness. Righteous lips are the delight of kings. They value one who speaks the truth. The king's wrath is a messenger of death, but a wise man will pacify it. In the light of the king's face is life. His favor is like a cloud of the spring rain. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold? Yes, to get understanding is to be chosen rather than silver. The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He who keeps his way preserves his soul. Pride goes before destruction, and an arrogant spirit before a fall. It is better to be of a lowly spirit with the poor than to divide the plunder with the proud. He who heeds the word finds prosperity. Whoever trusts in Yahweh is blessed. The wise in heart shall be called prudent. Pleasantness of the lips promotes instruction. Understanding is a foundation of life to one who has it. But the punishment of fools is their folly. The heart of the wise instructs his mouth and adds learning to his lips. Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. There is a way which seems right to a man, but in the end it leads to death. The appetite of the laboring man labors for him, for his mouth urges him on. A worthless man devises mischief. His speech is like a scorching fire. A perverse man stirs up strife. A whisper separates close friends. A man of violence entices his neighbor and leads him in a way that is not good. One who winks his eyes to plot perversities, one who compresses his lips, is bent on evil. Gray hair is a crown of glory. It is attained by a life of righteousness. One who is slow to anger is better than the mighty. One who rules his spirit than he who takes a city. The lot is cast into the lap. But its every decision is from Yahweh. Proverbs chapter 17 Better is a dry morsel with quietness than a house full of feasting with strife. A servant who deals wisely will rule over a son who causes shame and shall have a part in the inheritance among the brothers. The refining pot is for silver and the furnace for gold, but Yahweh tests the hearts. An evildoer heeds wicked lips. A liar gives ear to a mischievous tongue. Whoever mocks the poor reproaches his maker. 
He who is glad at calamity shall not be unpunished. Children's children are the crown of old men. The glory of children are their parents. Excellent speech isn't fitting for a fool, much less do lying lips fit for a prince. A bribe is a precious stone in the eyes of him who gives it. Wherever he turns, he prospers. He who covers an offense promotes love, but he who repeats a matter separates best friends. A rebuke enters deeper into one who has understanding, than a hundred lashes into a fool. An evil man seeks only rebellion, therefore a cruel master shall be sent against him. Let a bear robbed of her cubs meet a man, rather than a fool in his folly. Whoever rewards evil for good, evil shall not depart from his house. The beginning of strife is like breaching a dam. Therefore, stop contention before quarreling breaks out. He who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the righteous, both of them alike are an abomination to Yahweh. Why is there money in the hand of a fool to buy wisdom, since he has no understanding? A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. A man void of understanding strikes hands and becomes collateral in the presence of his neighbor. He who loves disobedience loves strife. One who builds a high gate seeks destruction. One who has a perverse heart doesn't find prosperity. And one who has a deceitful tongue falls into trouble. He who becomes the father of a fool grieves. The father of a fool has no joy. A cheerful heart makes good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. A wicked man receives a bribe in secret to pervert the ways of justice. Wisdom is before the face of one who has understanding, but the eyes of a fool wander to the ends of the earth. A foolish son brings grief to his father and bitterness to her who bore him. Also to punish the righteous is not good, nor to flog officials for their integrity. He who spares his words has knowledge. He who is even-tempered is a man of understanding. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is counted wise. When he shuts his lips, he is thought to be discerning. There are five lessons that I have picked from Proverbs chapters 16 and 17. This by no means is an exhaustive list, but I would like to share them with you. 1. Trusting in the Lord's plans and guidance. In Proverbs chapters 16 and 17, we gain invaluable insights into the importance of trusting in the Lord's plans and guidance. Solomon highlights that despite our desire to control outcomes, it is ultimately God who determines the course of our lives. This reminder can be both empowering and humbling because it reminds us that God's ways are higher than our ways. Trusting in the Lord's plans requires surrendering our own agendas and acknowledging that His wisdom surpasses ours. It involves accepting that there will be times when things don't go according to our expectations or desires. However, by placing our trust in Him, we can find peace knowing that God is always working for our ultimate good. Furthermore, this trust extends beyond just recognizing His plans, but also relying on His guidance. Solomon emphasizes the need to seek wisdom from the Lord, rather than depending solely on human understanding. In a world filled with conflicting opinions and advice, Turning to God for guidance brings clarity and direction amidst uncertainty. Ultimately, these chapters teach us that trusting in the Lord's plans and following His guidance is not always easy or straightforward. It requires a deliberate choice to let go of control and place full confidence in Him. But as we do so, we cultivate a deep sense of security 
knowing that he who holds all things together is guiding us along paths that lead to flourishing and fulfillment beyond what we could ever imagine or accomplish on our own. 2. The importance of humility and integrity. Humility and integrity are two qualities that are highly valued in both personal and professional interactions. In Proverbs chapters 16 and 17, the importance of these virtues is emphasized through various verses. Humility enables us to acknowledge our limitations and recognize that we are not incapable of error. It teaches us to be open-minded, receptive to feedback, and willing to learn from others. When we approach life with humility, we become more compassionate towards others as well as ourselves. Integrity, on the other hand, is all about aligning our thoughts, words, and actions. It involves being honest with ourselves and those around us. Proverbs reminds us that integrity brings forth blessings in life. It establishes trustworthiness, which in turn leads to opportunities for growth and success. Furthermore, living a life of integrity means standing up for what's right, even when the world expects otherwise. This requires moral strength and unwavering principles. In today's society, where self-promotion often takes precedence of a character building, humility and integrity may seem like outdated qualities. However, they remain fundamental pillars for personal fulfillment and meaningful relationships, allowing individuals to navigate through life with grace and authenticity. 3. The Impact of Our Words and Actions In Proverbs chapters 16 and 17, a clear theme emerges on the impact of our words and actions. The power we hold in what we say and do cannot be underestimated. Our words have the strength to build up or tear down, to inspire or discourage, to heal or wound. Likewise, our actions can either uplift those around us or leave them feeling crushed and defeated. One key insight is that our words and actions are interconnected. As Proverbs 16.24 highlights, Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Just as sweet words can bring healing and joy, kind actions can have a similar effect. When we genuinely care for others through acts of kindness, compassion, or service, we not only impact their lives, but also create a positive ripple effect within ourselves. Furthermore, the impact of our words and actions goes beyond personal relationships. It extends into society as well. We see this emphasized in Proverbs 17.20, where it says that one who has a perverse heart doesn't find prosperity, and one who has a deceitful tongue falls into trouble. Such prideful speech not only reflects negatively on oneself, but also has broader societal consequences by sowing discord among people. Therefore, these chapters remind us that every conversation we have and every action we take carries significance beyond just ourselves. They shape our communities and contribute to either harmony or division. 4. Building and Maintaining Healthy Relationships Building and maintaining healthy relationships is a crucial aspect of our lives. In today's fast-paced world, it can be easy to get caught up in our own thoughts and neglect meaningful conversations. Taking the time to genuinely listen and speak kind words can have a profound impact on building trust and strengthening relationships. Furthermore, Proverbs 17.17 17 states, that a friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. This verse emphasizes the significance of loyalty in relationships. True friendships are built on trust, support, and loyalty through both good times and bad. 
it is important to surround ourselves with people who genuinely care about us and are willing to stand by our side when challenges arise. Cultivating these deep bonds not only brings joy into our lives, but also provides us with comfort during difficult moments. Building and maintaining healthy relationships requires intentional effort from both parties involved. The wisdom found in Proverbs chapters 16 and 17 serves as a reminder of the importance of effective communication, kindness, loyalty, and supportiveness in fostering strong connections with others. By applying these principles in our daily interactions, we can cultivate meaningful relationships that bring fulfillment into our lives while positively impacting those around us. 5. Embracing Discipline and Correction In Proverbs chapters 16 and 17, there is a recurring theme of the value and necessity of discipline and correction. The verse emphasizes that embracing discipline is crucial for personal growth and character development. It teaches us the importance of not avoiding correction or rebuke, but rather embracing it as an opportunity to learn, improve, and become wiser. Discipline acts as a refining fire, purging away impurities in our actions, thoughts, and attitudes. It allows us to recognize our shortcomings and provides an avenue for personal growth. True wisdom comes from being humble enough to accept correction graciously, understanding that it is part of God's loving guidance for our lives. Furthermore, discipline aims to mold our character by teaching us patience, self-control, humility, and perseverance. It compels us to confront our weaknesses head-on so that we may overcome them and grow stronger in the process. By embracing discipline instead of resisting it out of pride or stubbornness, we open ourselves up to transformational change that can ultimately lead us towards a more purposeful life. Letting go of resistance towards correction may be difficult initially as it requires honesty with oneself about areas needing improvement. However, cultivating a mindset of humility can help shift this perspective, seeing each instance of correction as an opportunity rather than an attack on one's character. We will continue from Proverbs chapter 18 in the next episode. God bless you. Bye.